no, don't go away. Vlad, please, I need you. Oh my gosh, this is the longest fight. I'm fast forwarding. <gasps> oh my God, oh my God, here it is, you guys. I know y'all probably thought this would never come back and I don't blame you because it's been over a year. It's been like a year and a half. So we're doing the final episode of the history of Windenburg today. So get ready for a lot of death. Okay, so we're just going to get right into it and we're going to pretend that over a year has not just passed. Uh, so we're leaving off exactly where we left off. So in the last episode, they quit, they quilt, they killed the oldest daughter of Queen Ravenna, which was Princess Elizabeth, because she overheard their plan. She overheard Ravenna and she overheard Arthur and did you overhear Vlad? I think she overheard Vlad. Did you overheard them that they're sending the kids away and that the plan was to kill them? So they saw her trying to run away to like relay the message and get her siblings out. And they saw her run away and they knew that she heard them. So then they were like, Zeth, you cannot ruin our plan. So they killed her um, and they framed it as a killer rabbit. Um, So the kids were sad a second ago. Now that their eldest sister's died, honestly, this literally just happened. I, I don't know if they technically know yet, but this has all just happened and it's just put a little, oh, that's Bellbox just sitting there, but it's just put a little bit of a delay in their plans. But now they're like squeamish. I don't think you're squeamish. You're killing people. You're fine. No, this is put like a, just a slight delay in the plans. So Arthur's the one who wants to kill the kids. He doesn't want them to be a problem because he wants to be king. And Ravenna was like, we'll just send them away. I think Ravenna thinks that's easier because I think she thinks if they all just die like even if it's like a periodic thing but like that is suspicious as heck i feel like it is too okay so all this just happened i honestly think arthur is just like sick and tired of waiting like he was promised that he'd be king a long ooh, mesmerized he was promised that he'd be king a long time ago the divorce um argument criticize woohoo techniques not it's not about that it's not about that argue about politics yeah let's do that new family dynamic difficult oh my gosh we've gotten all this new stuff since i last played I mean, yeah, it's difficult. That makes sense. All right, now they're arguing. I feel like things are just like really high stressed right now, like for the most part, especially Ravenna. She's, I, I was gonna say, she's been able to keep her calm, but she's like killed and like, like she's detached herself from emotions, even though revenge still festers in her heart. All right, malicious, sh shout forbidden word. We're, we're getting malicious here. So so they're, they're getting angry. We're gonna pretend the kids are sleeping. It doesn't look like they are sleeping right now, but we are going to pretend that they are. Okay, so now I think, can you like stomp off? Let's see. All right, he's like, I we we need to they, they need to stay cool, honestly, for their plans to work. But I think emotions are just writhing now. I think that the whole thing with Elizabeth kind of put like heck yeah has put a dent in the plan. At this point, I wonder if she thinks like she's starting to realize she's like, well, if he does kill the kid, like if he gets mad enough to where he ends up going to kill the kids, I feel like Ravenna's wondering like, could she just frame that? Like, like, I mean, he's doing it, but could she like expose him like and make it seem like it's only his fault? And then that way the children and him are out of the way. And it doesn't look suspicious on Ravenna because he's the one who killed the children and he's the one caught red handed. So I feel like Ravenna is now, like as she's realizing this in the fight and she's like, okay, but I, I have to keep egging him on. Like I, I need him to be the one to kill them. So I don't have to do it. So I look like the innocent one here. So I think she's, she's realizing this, but she's continuing to argue with him like this. She's continuing to argue with him so she can provoke him. Oh, yeah, actually, can you provoke him? Can you do that? I, I, I think provoke kind of starts a fight sometimes, uh, but we, also I feel like the relationship should be lower at this point. Arguments, I don't see provoke. Okay, what if we are right, yell at, and then I want to give him the cold shoulder so then he walks away. Arguments, give the, oh my God, that scared me. Sir, King Henry, sir, he wants to be part of this so bad. Can you go away? Just go away. I'm telling a ghost to go away. Also, why are you yellow? Okay, she gave him the cold shoulder, now 
just on her phone. Get off, get off her phone. Get off her phone. All right, the relationship is going down. But okay, so I, let, let's see he storms. Why do you feel like so energized? Stop being happy about being married. We don't need you to do that. That's not you. Oh dear. Okay, all right. Yeah, be even be angry. All right, now I'm gonna have him stomp away. He's so fed up. Are there like, okay, fine. I will just do it myself. And Ravenna is like, yes, good. Do it. Okay, stop talking to each other though. You're supposed to storm off angrily. There, there we go. Oh, oh, it's happening, I think. Oh my gosh, there's so many stairs. Okay, oh, there we go. Oh, hey, no, get off your phone. Uh, this is making it less serious. Oh, the children, oh, the children. Okay, well, they're supposed to be asleep. Let's pretend they're asleep. Oh my gosh, y'all, Vlad literally just showed up and he's, he's feeling flirty. I was literally about to call him. Stop feeling flirty, please stop. Okay, so Arthur has stomped off. Go, go away, go here. Here, we have a servant of the house go here. And then Ravenna has called Vlad, or however she calls it. She used her vampire powers to call him. Let's meet, go here. Go, no, not you, not you, not you. Oh gosh, she's going to talk to the children. Teleport here as missed. Wait, okay, but what if Arthur sees this? Where are you, Arthur? Do, are you talking to the child? Oh, you're, you're, okay, get away from the child. Don't, 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 don't. I, I know we keep talking about him killing children, but like get away from her now. Okay, I'm gonna have Arthur go here. He's very angry. He's over here, and then Ravenna has called Vlad. Okay, all right, he, uh, I, I fast forwarded that, but he teleports there by miss, and Arthur's like, the heck, friendly? Where's discuss evil plans? Deep conversation, sure. Okay, so they're discussing their evil plans. Why is he flirty? Vlad, not now. Okay, so now she is like, we have to keep this on the hush, but Arthur has gotten so riled up, I think he's about to kill the children. Oh my God, are you, did I just have a romantic relationship? Is there secretly a romantic thing between them or is it just because Vlad is feeling like, flirty? I don't think Ravenna has any romantic attachment to anybody. Like she's all just doing this for plans. Oh my gosh, what a part of Vlad. <laughs> Started having feelings for each other. <gasps> oh dear, okay. He's got evil plans. Okay, now she's telling him like, all right, Arthur is so riled up. I think he's about to go kill the children, um, but this might work in our favor. This means that we can just frame it onto him. We need someone to like see it. We need someone to watch. And then Arthur is over here listening. Oh, look at him angrily listening to this conversation. He's like, oh, they are playing me. They had this plan all along. I feel infuriated, like I've been deceived. Like he is so pissed right now. Or he's tense by mice, but he's, he's, he's pissed right now. Oh, whoops, oh, I just got rid of that. So he's hearing all of this and he's like, oh, that's how they wanna do it? Okay, fine. Okay, so it is now later in the evening after Arthur overheard Vlad and Ravenna's conversation, he was like, oh my God, they're vampires. So there is this vampire slayer mod, which I will link below. And I was like, why don't we try that? That'll make things interesting. So Arthur did, wait, stop talking to your children. You guys are not supposed to be all buddy, buddy. You are the most distant evil family. Arthur is like realizing that they're vampires. I wonder this time too, if things were very superstitious. So people are like, oh, vampires are totally, what is it? No, go away. You're ruining the, the vibe. But, but like vampires are totally real like, and this is how you defeat a vampire this is how you do this so in the game and with the mod he has to be way more knowledgeable than i think he would actually be like maybe he's just heard some stuff he's like prepared for the day or something like that um he did already have some vampire lore skill so he's definitely knows his stuff a little bit so all day he has been preparing he's like i need to kill them i need to kill athena i need to kill Vlad, and i need to kill the children so he went to the wood Bench. He crafted a crossbow bolt and also he crafted a wooden stake. Used to kill vampires, remember to aim for the heart. So we're gonna see how this works. Definitely gonna have to be in the middle of the night. Things have been delayed a little bit. So Ravenna and Vlad are still waiting. And they're like, tonight must be the night that he's gonna try to kill the kids. They don't know that Arthur knows anything. So children, you're gonna have to go to bed. <laughs> okay, all the children are in the room and they're, they're staying there. Okay, so we are going to, however, wait until nightfall because he needs to strike at nightfall. But I need to make sure he's got the right skill for this. Oh, I think he does. Okay, so he, he has vampire lore skill. He also has a vampire slayer skill. Okay, I feel like this fight would be so dramatic, like right here. He, what if he's just waiting for the, oh wait, wait, aren't, isn't the kid's nursery up 
here. Yes, okay. Right in front of the children's nurse. Oh, now that would be a fun. Okay, all right, all right. Not right in front. I think this is a is a better vibe. Let's see, bring Vlad here. Okay, Arthur has been waiting here. Vlad, are you here too? So let's say this is on the way to the children, the, the nursery. Go here. Teleport here as missed. Oh, I guess Ravenna could have teleported too. Fly here as a bat. He's literally sitting. He's literally waiting for that. Okay, all right, there's Vlad first. Okay, Ravenna's not here yet, but what if Arthur's like, oh, right. No, no, don't go away. Vlad, please, I need you. Stop teleporting. Okay, stay, sir. Stay, for the love of God. Oh my God, okay, all right. Oh, and, and also with the mod, he's got vampire near. He knows, he knows, well, he knows they're already a vampire. Okay, Ravenna's not here yet though. Maybe Ravenna's on the way to meet him. And Arthur's like looking for someone. Well, maybe he uses that light later, but he's like, I know what you are. Shoot with a cross. I made a crossbow. Okay, mean vampire slayer. All right, all right. Kill with a vampire with wooden stake. So he's like, I know what you are. You have been a part of this trying to trick me. You're gonna pay for that. Why are you just sitting there? All right, okay. Now, he, now he's now he's gonna kill him with the wooden stake, right? Oh, oh, okay. Vlad, Vlad is getting into his first fight. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, it's happening. And Ravenna's not here to see it. Is he, oh wait, oh. Wait, oh, it's literally, oh. <laughs> it's a fight, but with some magic booms. And there's bats everywhere too. I'm actually so curious who's gonna live. Okay, how, lo how long is this fight? Ravenna's not here. Is Vlad going to be dead? by the time Ravenna gets here. Oh my gosh, this is the longest fight. I'm fast forwarding through, it's the longest. Oh, oh, oh! <gasps> oh my God, he killed Vlad, he killed Vlad, he killed Vlad! Vlad was killed! Oh sh- Oh my god! Oh my gosh, okay, okay. So, I, I, it's, it's fast. Oh, oh, she literally just came here on her. Oh! Oh my gosh, now the Grim Reaper gets here. Now he gets here. Ravenna's like, I saw the Grim Reaper. Who died? Oh no, my partner in crime. Y'all, that's dead. All right, Ravenna's up here. And now, now Arthur is like, looking for someone. <laughs> and Ravenna is like, how, 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 how did he? How? Mock mortality, I guess. That's fine, yeah, sure. Okay, but like, I don't think Ravenna's gonna go down as easy, right? She's been, she, okay, to be fair, she hasn't been a vampire for as long as Vlad. Now they're arguing, she's mocked his mortality. He's so angry, he's telling her off for what he did. Literally, I mean, this is basically the same thing he did to Vlad, he's like, you, you, how dare you? Oh my gosh, he's out of objects to kill her with though. Okay, but he did make a cross, but Wait, well, we have one. We literally. Oh, we only have the ball. Oh, sh oh no, he's out of objects though. He's out of objects. Is she gonna try to kill him? Let's see. Mean vampire mesmer mesmerize. Can you mesmerize him? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wow, that was really fast. Did you already mesmerize him? Okay, no, she's leaving him. She's leaving him. Oh my god. Okay, get 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 it. Oh, oh no, she is mesmerizing him. Oh my god, she did it. She did it. She did it. He didn't get away in time. He did not get away in time. Can she kill him? I don't think she can. Okay, he needs to break away from this. Maybe he's like been trying mesmerize. He can't move. He can't move. He's trying. He are you are you going to be able? Oh, that's a that's a florist station. Y'all, I know we I know he can't technically do this. Electro laser dagger. Oh wait, but what about the the crossbow? You cannot kill vampires with this weapon, but you can weaken them. Well, what's the point? Electro shock based from concentrated solar energy. <gasps> Where did he get this from? Where would he have gotten that from? Where's the crossbow? I thought we could get a crossbow. He's going to need to, he's literally going to need to do this again. Like he's gonna have to make another. What was the point of making the crossbow arrow if I couldn't make a crossbow? Yo, how is he gonna get out of this? Seriously though? Like there's no way she's going to let him go. Like she's seen what he did. She's seen what he, like literally Vlad's uh, thing is right there. Oh, okay, okay, can can you command him to do something though? I'm, I'm gonna get rid of the sadness. I don't think she's sad, but I think she's pretty pissed, honestly. Y'all, what if she, what if she, okay, 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 now, 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 lie about where you've been, dispel mesmerization, no. Okay, she, let, okay, she's gonna try to drink his blood. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, vampire drink plasma for deep drink. Okay, why don't then you, can you dispel, dispel mesmerize? 
And then, oh, sh oh, okay, you gotta drink his blood, blood fast. Vampire, drink plasma. All right, come pound for a deep drink. She's mesmerizing him. She's drinking his blood. She's like, I had to, you were, this man ran out of weapons. He didn't have enough weapons, apparently. Um, but now she's drinking his blood. She, I, I think she's thinking this would kill him. Maybe she'll drain him of like his life force. I don't know, but he, he had been caught. He killed Vlad, didn't have enough weapons for Ravetta. Now he had been caught, he had been compelled, but she needs to hurry this up because she is about to die in the sunlight. Y'all, is she literally about to drink his blood and then she's just going to straight up die? And then what if he died? Y'all, wait. This might be the perfect end. All right, she. I, I do wanna try to see if I can get her out of here first because I literally don't know how long it's going to take for her to do this. But what, can she try to move? Can you try to move or? Oh. Okay. <laughs> In oh my god! <gasps> From being in the sun, it burns. So is she dying now too? Oh my god. Oh my god. Here it is, you guys. Here it is. It's literally oh no, the Green Reaper's here. The Green Reaper's here. Oh my god. She he's literally about to take her too. Like she's dying. There's another person dying literally right in front of him. She killed Arthur. Spent too long out here. Y'all, y'all, Green has died from overexposure to the sun. <laughs> Guys, we did it! We killed all the evil! Now all the kids are left! It's literally just the kids! King Henry, the first- I mean, there hasn't been a lot before him, but he's the only child ruler! I feel like back then, like, yes, they would also have advisors too, but they're like, they find them, they find all the adults, and they're like, well, I mean, well, I guess, I guess the kid's the ruler now. Okay. Guys, we did it! Also, I don't think, from this, I really don't think anyone else knows that they were vampires. I mean, like, no one knows that they're vampires. Nobody does. Like, just because they're dead, they, they weren't like, oh, she's a vampire. Like, they're just dead. But that's it. Guys, we finished the series. So obviously, I think you guys kind of know what happened. Oh, he's not dressed for this. Um, But Henry becomes the ruler. As a child, becomes the ruler. And then his descendants end up being where we are now in a royal family series for Windenburg. Death is inevitable. Queen Ravenna knows that. Queen Ravenna just didn't think that she would be thinking about it so soon. There is still so much to do. How will Queen Ravenna get everything done if death is just around the corner? Is it safer just to hide forever? No, girl, you're dead. She's dead. She is dead. I guess the game hasn't like acknowledged that yet. But yeah, no, she's dead. Okay, so yeah. Okay, guys, I guess that's the end of it. Okay, so I know I didn't say at the beginning of this series that I was working on doing like just a bit shit about this whole thing. Um, That was before I had chronic pain. Now I have chronic pain. I don't know if it's gonna happen. Maybe in the future, I won't say never. Maybe one day in the future, I'll, I'll do it and, and have it done. But um, for now, we've got the series. We finished the series a year and a half later after the, this, took, this took like two years. But now that we have this series, that means this is grounds for another series that I have an idea for that I will be announcing very soon, another royal series. Um, so look out for that announcement in my videos, my community posts. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know your thoughts below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.